Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Numbers. So today in this video, we will discuss about the array type question. And the question is how many numbers are smaller than the current number. Okay, so this is the question. And given the array nums. So here the array nums is given for each nums of i. Find out how many numbers in the array are smaller than it. That is, for each nums of i, you have to count the number of valid j's such that j is not equal to i and nums of j is less than nums of i. Okay, so these two are the condition and you have to find how many numbers in the array are smaller than the current number. That is for the first element in the array nums the first element is 8 and its smaller number are except these 8 are 1 2 2 and 3 so these four are the smaller than this number okay so the output will be 4 for this input 8 and next is 1 and the smaller for this one is 0 because there are no smaller element than this one so next is 2 and the smaller element of 2 is 1 and this is only one time one is present okay so the output will be one for these two and for these two also and for these three the output will be three because there are three smaller element than these three so the output will be three so this is the output okay so this is the easy type question so before watching the solution please try to solve this question by your own okay so let's write the code so first of all we will write the basic format of the C++ that is let's include bit slash standard C++ dot h using namespace standard first write the main function that is in main and inside this main function we will write a vector why because we want to store all of these elements into a vector okay so write a vector and its data type is integer and the name of the vector is nums so the elements of the vectors will be this so we'll copy these elements from here okay so let's copy these elements from here and paste it here so the question is how many numbers are smaller than the current number okay so let's write the function as smaller number so instead this will first this vector nums nums and before this main method we'll write the same function and the return type will be vector because we want to return an array so this is integer type vector and then we will write this function that is smaller num and inside this we will write the vector and its data type is integer and then write here ampersand and then the name of the vector that is nums okay so it's done and inside this first we will write a result vector where we will store all the result okay so write your vector int result and the size of the given vector that is the nums vector so the size of the given vector is suppose n and n equals to nums dot size so this will calculate the size of the vector now we'll write a for loop to iterate the nums vector so for int I equals to 0 I less than n I plus plus and our initial count value is suppose in count equals to 0 okay so our initial count values is suppose 0 so now we'll write another for loop that is an inner for loop and we'll iterate from int j equals to 0 j less than n and j plus plus now inside this we'll check the condition that is there was two conditions one is j is not equals to i and nums of j is less than nums of i okay so these are the two conditions and we'll check the two conditions here that is if nums of i 
nums of i is greater than nums of j okay so this is the one condition and the next condition is i is not equals to j so this is the second condition so these two condition must be satisfied so if these two condition is satisfied then we will increase the count value so count will be count plus plus and after I go outside of this inner for loop, we will push back the count value to the result vector. Okay. So write your result dot okay, push back. Result dot push back count. Because we want to count how many smaller numbers are present than this current element. Okay. So every time for every element, we will push back the count value to the result. And next we will check the next element that is i will be increased and we will check the next element and we will do the same operation for the rest of the elements and finally we will go outside of this outer for loop and we will return the vector so return result vector from here okay so as we are returning the vector from here the return type is vector here and we want to store the result so to store the vector result we want a vector so write here a vector and its data type is integer and the name of the vector is suppose answer okay so inside this answer we'll store all the result so now to free in the result write a for loop so for auto i equals to answer dot begin i not equals to answer dot end i plus plus and then print each and every element so right here asterisk i and then give a space here okay so it's complete so let's run the program So output is 40113 and our expected output was 40113 so this is the perfect output so you can check this program by giving another test cases and this was a easy type problem and hope you enjoyed this video and if you find this video helpful then please like the video and please share it with your friends also so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care